Hi everyone. So I'm finally doing this hot air brush video and I've been wanting to do one for a while. Uh, as you can see, it's a different setup because I need to be sitting down. This is how I typically do my hot air brush. So I just wanted to do it how I always do it. So um, typically sometimes I will do it when it's wet or when it's dry. If it's dry, I will spray um, some like detangler. You can even mist it with water. I don't have water right now at this moment. Um, you could even get some silicone silk spray. Yes, I use a lot of that actually. And I love it on my wigs. It actually helps my wigs stay super soft. So we are going to take a look at this. So this is my Jameson by Stetica. And so sometimes these ends can get crunchy, you know, and um, this is what I did to my wigs, especially when I didn't have a steamer. But even if you want to maintain some of the curl or the um, or like curling under pattern or anything with your wigs, you want to use a hot airbrush and not a steamer. A steamer will straighten those out and then it will um, change the structure of the fibers. So um, sometimes I do this when my wigs are like half dry. Um, this would be a piece that I will do this on, uh, this piece that I'm wearing right here. So what I do is I lay the wig on my lap and I take a section and I kind of get the hot air brush and I kind of comb through it before I even turn it on with the rolling, with the comb. And I usually do low, especially if it's already dry. And I kind of just go like this. Sometimes I'll go back to the top especially for this style since it kind of curls under you want to go like that so let me see if i can hold this up for you guys this is why i typically lay it down so i'm just kind of getting my hot airbrush and i'm just going through the ends and pulling through the ends sometimes i'll even go like this and just brush it And especially if the wig is all the way wet, I will actually take from the top and kind of go like that. Because this wig is dry at this moment, I'm just focusing on those ends because I really want to get that crunchiness out of the fibers to soften those back up again. So again, I will take a section And sometimes I'll just comb it like that. Take another section. And I just typically kind of brush it through. You don't have to do it under, um, you know, whatever you want. So this is probably the first wig that I've done that has a more defined curl under, but I'm getting it with this. You just want to take it. Now, if you have bangs and you want to form a bang, first I'm going to recommend that you cut a little bit longer than your eyebrow. You're going to want to cut a little bit longer than your eyebrow, probably mid nose. I'm not a hairdresser. Don't quote me on that. Okay. I would take it a little bit longer than you want them because then And no, I'm not cutting bangs into my Zion, but this is for demonstration purposes only. So then you're going to take your bangs and you're going to go like that. Okay, and you're going to train those hairs down front. So even if you have a side sweat bang or if you have a wig that you want to add bangs into, just bring down and then this helps train them to lay this way, okay? 
So if you have any out of sorts or going kinky this way, bring it down, curl it, curl it through, okay? I'll try, I'm just gonna. This already makes her really soft, just brushing this. I've had this Zion wig all day on. And it just helps the fibers soften up. Just like that. So don't be afraid to use hot airbrush. I was nervous. Um, I didn't have a steamer yet and I was scared to try steamer. So I did this. Honestly, I like this better for bangs and for just wanting to soften up the hair. Steaming is very difficult and it takes a lot of time to know what you're gonna do. Steaming is easy if you're just going straight. Um, but other than that, you just really need to be careful with steaming and very particular. It can really change the dynamic of the wig and the style of the wig. Hot airbrush, I feel, doesn't change the style. It just really softens up those fibers and get it from not being so crunchy. So I, I hope that helped you. Um, if you'd like to see more tips or tricks, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Don't forget to shine bright, love others, and be kind. Bye.